Hey friends, it's Ryan. Thanks so much for joining me for today's daily devotional. If you've been following the news this week like, uh, like I've been, then you know that tensions are starting to flare up again in Israel-Palestine. Now, a devotional like this, a short three to five minute devotional on the internet, is not the place to get into the nuances of the Israel-Palestine conflict. But what it brings up for me is thinking about the different ways that we create space. When I had the opportunity in seminary to visit Israel and Palestine and listen to people all over uh, that area talk about what's going on, one of the things that we studied was how people construct space. And one of the ways that we talked about, it, talked about it actually was a church in Jerusalem, a Christian church in Jerusalem called the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. This church is hotly contested ground for different uh, sects within Christianity. Uh, there's one sect that holds the nave, and this is the place that they lay claim to. There's another sect that takes uh, the back part of the church, and this is the part they lay claim to. There's a third sect that has the, the crypts and the catacombs beneath. And there's always people from those sects in those various spaces in the Church of the Holy Sepulchre because they know if they leave for an instant, one of the other groups is going to move in. This is inside a church in the middle of Jerusalem. In fact, the, the various Christian groups inside this church uh, s have so little trust with each other that the front door uh, has a key and that key is kept by somebody who is not Christian. <laughs> it's, um, it's, a, it's a very stark example of what happens when we start to draw boundaries between each other, when we start to draw those lines, those borders that cut us off from other people. I mean that in a lot of different ways. I mean that physically, the lines that we draw on maps that say, this is a state, this is a state, this is a country, this is a country. I mean that metaphorically, the way that we say, I believe this and you believe that, and so that means that we can't be friends. I am this way and you are that way, and that means we can't be in community together. Humans naturally draw lines. Humans naturally find boundaries. It's one of the things that makes us what we are. And that's okay. Sometimes it is good to draw boundaries. Anybody who has ever been to counseling before will know that boundaries are a good thing to keep you healthy, to keep your uh, family healthy, to keep your community healthy. And there are ways to do it that are better and worse. Our world continues to draw boundaries between us, continues to erect walls between us. We are by the day becoming more and more and more split apart. And the thing is, our God is a God who crosses those lines. Every time you draw a line between you and somebody else, God is always on the other side of that line. God is found in the midst of places you may not even be expecting God to be. So my encouragement to you, friends, in the midst of this time of turmoil, in the midst of these news stories that we see all the time here at home and in places around the world where we just can't seem to figure out how to live together, my encouragement to you today is to find those boundaries that need to be erased. Find those walls that have been erected that need to be torn down. Find the neighbors that are living just around you and find that common ground because I promise you, God will be there.